Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. We finally received the arm that I ordered, the new tone arm. So we're just going to show you it. It comes in a box like this. It's got some uh, nice padding inside. So here's the uh, counterweight and the head shell. And this is the body of the arm. This is made by a company called, um, I think that's spelled Eyes, but I'm not entirely sure whether that's how you pronounce it or not, but anyway. So uh, this needs a, um, a tone arm cable with five pin din. Okay, that doesn't come with this arm. So, you, you, so what I'm gonna be doing is making one of those. Um, the beauty of this arm is you can adjust, uh, adjust the uh, virtual tracking angle by just uh, adjusting these two uh, these two Allen keys. Uh, we can we can just pull the base up and down to get to the right height that we need or, or the less height. Um, it's got our anti skating bar there at the side, and it's also so we can clip that off. That comes off. That pops out. Now we've got our riser, uh, and there we go. It falls down nicely. This is done on four bearings, apparently four, 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 four mil miniature bearings. Um, it's a very, very nice arm. It's all made of aluminium. These bits. Uh, this is a brass tube, which is. Um, uh, chrome plated um, we've got a very nice head shell so let's uh, let's get the other bits out of the bag um, <clears throat> so we'll start with a head shell head shells a very nice looking head shell although the beauty of this arm is I can uh, upgrade the head shell if I want to to something uh, quite quite better but this is a nice head shell it's aluminium it's very light um, it's all gold plated all the all the parts on it there we go, it's very nice. Um, so that just clips into there. And then we just tighten it up. There we go, so that's the head shell on there. Okay, and next is the counterweight. Um, so we've got the counterweight there. So this just pushes on to the uh, to the back so you get it there we go and then you can adjust it backwards and forwards you can't actually see this in the video there but there there's little oh yes you might be able to see it see that there's little uh, settings there so you can but as I'm using a um, a digital scales to set up the uh, the turntable uh, the, the arm, I should say, and the so all I've got to do now is to fit in the um, the cartridge. So and then um, we've got our um, anti skating weight there as well in the bag that we're going to fit on. But I'm not going to do this yet because uh, it's going to take a little bit of uh, time to set up. Now this arm also it can go. You can adjust the uh, the backwards and forwards on it, um, but with my deck at the top here, I've only got one hole in it at the moment, so I may have to put a slot in there. So we'll put that onto there. See, look, it's a very nice arm. It's really nice this arm. It's a lovely arm. Obviously, these have got to be adjusted. Everything's got to be adjusted on it yet. But so um, there we go. So we're gonna take that forward. Obviously, it's got no no cartridge in it at the moment, so we'll just tilt it forward a bit. There we go; it goes down nicely. So yeah, I'm really really pleased with that. Um, so all we've got to do now is we've just got to mess about with it, setting it all up properly. Um, <clears throat> I have a feeling this goes on an angle. The bottom plate goes on an angle. Once we un undo the uh, the Allen key little allen key bolts in there we can we can spin the uh, this part and uh, spin the base around so um, and 
this is all nicely finished. Uh, the engineering on this is, is top notch. Um, someone did comment to me about arms from China could be uh, the engineering could be poor. This isn't poor at all. This is fabulous. And I'm really, really pleased with this. Um, <clears throat> it sort of reminds me of a Gelco arm, although it's not. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're going to get all that fitted up. And uh, so what I'm going to be doing is making a pure silver tone arm cable. Just just ordered the uh, the din plug for it to go in there, the five din. Um, we're going to use uh, pure silver lats wire on it. And this is going to sound fabulous after I finish this. So we, we, if you've noticed now that we've uh, we finished the isolation table now as well, it's all set up. Um, so we've polished it exactly the same colour, it's spot on colour. We come to the top here, we've got our uh, little bubble there. You may not be able to see it very well, but it's spot on in the centre. Difficult to see it on the camera really to get the right angle. Um, it, it's uh, it's pretty spot on um, so yeah this 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 is gonna be a very nice setup once it's finished it's taken a while to do um, which is a tad annoying for me because I haven't been able to listen to anything yet I've got a shed load of new LPs uh, to show you still although we've done a couple of videos on them already but we've got uh, we've got a whole collection of my favorite artists to show you and we've got uh, other LPs that are on order, which I'm waiting to come in at the moment. So I'm hoping they'll be in. Um, price of this arm was, well, it was up. I actually knocked them down uh, a bit on it. So it should have been $450, but managed to get it for $400 uh, in, in English money. That worked out to about uh, £324 or something like that. Um, there was meant to be custom charge on it as well, but it turned up today and it, I didn't have to pay anything. So I'm not sure what went on there. Um, came by Royal Mail in the end. Um, so uh, all the way from China. But um, obviously I haven't listened to it yet. This is this is something that I've purchased without listening to. Um, I, I checked the specs out of it and all the specs really uh, sang to me that it, it would it would be a nice arm so i'm sure it will be and uh once we get our cartridge fitted in and we can also um we're also gonna uh, it already came with uh, some head shell cables they're already made up i'm sure these are copper and the only the only the only downside is obviously that the wire that's inside the arm there i'm not going to touch um, that's bound to just be copper in now uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the head shell cables to pure silver and then we're going to have the 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 tone on cable coming off which is going to be pure silver going to my um my phono preamp there um this phono preamp is going to have its own separate isolation table i've already got one for the uh, phono preamp power supply there which i'm going to repolish in the same color i want to ma match everything up um so I think that's about it for this video. So uh, I hope you like the new arm. Um, I really hope. I mean, I'm sure it will. It's gonna. I'm sure it's gonna sound fabulous once it's set up. Um, this whole setup now, this turntable has really come up to a, a, a totally new level of, uh, of detail and performance. Once it, once I get it going, I'm sure it has. So thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to uh, subscribe and don't forget to give me a like. Thanks.